What's up guys, welcome to part two of the uh, HD Home Run uh, Connect device. Uh, in part two, obviously, like I mentioned in part one, we're gonna go through the Cody setup. And as you can see uh, at the moment, I've got it running and uh, unfortunately for my area, um, we don't really get the uh, HD um, free view on BBC One for some reason between uh, half six and seven o'clock UK time, which is really bizarre. So they play like adverts like this. And as you guys can see, it's working perfectly on 1080p. Since um, part one, I've moved the device now remotely, so it's uh, actually in my loft, uh, which is connected with a TP-Link's uh, Power Ethernet uh, 500 megabyte device, uh, which runs literally uh, through my network and cables. So uh, that's what I use for all my media boxes, and you can use it on this device as well, which is really handy, so you can keep things tidy. And also I've got a coax outlet at the top in the loft and also I've got power up there. So basically it's uh, it's well hidden away and now any device, PC, Mac, uh, Kodi device can now uh, pick up Freeview uh, UK channels um, using either the Kodi add-on which I'll show you how to install in a minute or going onto your PC or Mac and head into the hdhomerun.net website. So yeah, as you can see it's running 1080p very smart. Um, what I'll do now is I'll just quickly flick through the channels that I get. Obviously, depending on what region you are, you'll get different channels and stuff. Uh, so if you've got remote and you use your arrow keys, if you arrow right, you'll get a pop-up there. And what's really cool is that it's got the EPG guide so you know what's on next. So as you can see there, um, it's not 7 o'clock here yet, but obviously next is the one show and so forth. So I'll quickly just uh, zip, go through the channels that I get, there's roughly about um, 128, that also includes radio and various amounts of things. Obviously I'm going quite fast through those, but if you go slowly it will download the icon as well. But again, guys, I just want to show you sort of how nicely it is set up and that. And also you get the option obviously with uh, this device that you can actually pause. So I've paused it, so if I want to go out and make a drink or got a telephone call or got to, you know talk to someone, I can pause it using the pause button on your remote and come back and carry on playing just like that and it works seamlessly. So uh, what we'll do is that we'll press the back and there you have the options there. See it's still playing in the background. Uh, we'll hit the exit button and then as you can see there guys, um, sorry about that, um, I've actually set up a shortcut called Freeview because that's what it is where I am. It's UK Freeview TV and it's just a lot easier for me to navigate to that to find the channels. So what I'll do is I'll show you guys how to install it. Uh, for anyone asking, I'm using the Cronus um, Build Config on Open Elect. You can download it from their website, from uh, appnet.tv. Uh, so we'll go along to Settings. And again, this is uh, all directly from the official repository as well on Kodi, so all above all and uh, all free as well. So we'll go down to Add-ons, and we'll go to Get Add-ons, their Kodi add-on repository, go down to the Video Add-ons, and then you'll select HD Home Run. It's free, like I said, you hit, basically hit install. There's nothing to configure at all. And then we'll go back and I'll show you guys where it actually gets installed. It'll be under your video add-ons, but on my setup, it's under Add-on Central. And as you can see there, guys, it's at the bottom. So literally, once you click it now, for example, if you've just installed it, it will say fetching devices, finishing up, and then it will start loading some channels. And as you can see there, guys, it's running BBC One as I left it. It's 1080p. And again, that's running it over an Ethernet power adapter uh, from my device in the loft and running around the cabling in my house straight back to the router. So as you can see, it's running seamlessly. And like I touched on before, you can use this on your Mac and on your Windows. So literally, um, if I want to watch BBC One and then obviously if the wife wants to watch uh, another channel, I can always go to my office and use my Mac and... Uh, go to BBC whatever I need to look uh, watch on and uh, my um, son's bedroom if he wants to watch uh, ICV I can go up there and he's got uh, Amazon Fire Stick so basically I can download the app on the uh, Kodi a repository like I've just done there and again he has access to this as well so it really really is a fantastic device because it's giving you the options to uh, have this in uh, every bedroom UK TV without having to have an aerial uh, which I think is really, really decent. So that's part two over with. As you can see, uh, as you may have um, seen already, uh, part one, but um, it's a very, very good device. I highly recommend it. It's probably the best uh, £100 I've spent. So I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll catch you uh, soon.